we are actually ramping up our police presence. Um, with the wake of Orlando, it's not the first time that we've thought about security or at big events like this, but we definitely want to make sure that the streets are safer and everybody sees our presence and feels more secure. So we're definitely having more officers out on the streets. We also are gonna be having our plainclothes officers in the crowd, so that way it's not just a deterrent to see our uniforms, but also we'll have people in the crowd that will be able to kind of make visuals on things that other people might not see right away. So people will be wanded down in order to get into the event. Um, they're also gonna be able to check IDs 100%. We're always enforcing you have to be of age in order to drink alcoholic beverages. And additionally, they're asking for minimal um, belongings to be brought in. So the less you can bring, the better. But you know, if you need your cell phones and cameras and stuff, we want, definitely want you to be able to take pictures and everything. But the less you have, it's more secure. I think the, the big difference that we feel here anyway is last year around this time gay marriage had just been legalized and so there was this really excited positive optimistic energy going into the parade and this year happens to be the exact opposite so uh, I think it's it's been an interesting experience to just build the parade with kind of a, a heavier message Nobody has said anything about backing out, you know, either it's just we're moving forward as planned or uh, there's yeah, an additional kind of need to add some support and add some messaging of we're not going to let this stop anybody.